Okay, let, let's return and focus in on the aldol reaction and the condensation. Now, I'm not going to compare and contrast, but the fact is you can, so, so th these have different products. The reaction forms the beta hydroxy ketone and the aldol condensation forms the alpha beta unsaturated ketone. And so you think, okay, well these, these have two totally different purposes. However, you can sometimes use the reaction to get access to alpha beta unsaturated ketones. And you do this by adding another step. But if, if you look at the beta, uh, the aldol condensation, what we do is we throw everything in. We throw in our base, sodium hydroxide, sodium alkoxide, some aldehyde. And as we go through all these steps, we do, in the condensation, get to the beta hydroxy ketone. But as soon as this forms, it's still floating around in base. We end up plucking off one of these hydrogens, one of these alpha hydrogens. We form an enolate and we kick out the hydroxide. So this is something that happens during the condensation, does not happen during the reaction, because once we protonate our tetrahedral intermediate and reveal our final product, we don't have all this excess base floating around. And so this last step doesn't happen. Well, as it turns out, if you run the aldol reaction, so let's draw a reaction. So if we were going to make the beta hydroxy, we'd say, okay, treat with LDA, that makes the enolate. The enolate, we will react with an aldehyde. And then step three, we'll add water. We will get, indeed, as we'd expect, and again, this is the reaction, the aldol reaction. We will get the beta hydroxy product. Well, once we have the beta hydroxy product, if we treat this with base, which is really what happened in the condensation reaction. We had the leftover base. If we added a fourth step and said, oh, let's just throw in some sodium hydroxide or maybe sodium methoxide, then the fact is that base will ultimately find one of these hydrogens, remove it, form an enolate, and then you'll get an elimination to form that new carbon-carbon pi bond in the alpha-beta unsaturated ketone. So you can use the aldol reaction to, to ultimately get to the alpha-beta unsaturated ketone. You're going to have to ha add an extra step. You're going to have to simulate the presence of base in the aldol condensation reaction. But it can work. So just add a fourth step. So sometimes people will make, do, uh, make their alpha-beta unsaturated ketones through the reaction and then add base at the end. It's totally fine. It gets you to the same place.